Hey everybody, Ryan from Vortex Optics here. We've got a special Thanksgiving treat for you today. We're going to cook up some antelope backstrap. A little different from your regular turkey, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to give it a try. Uh, if you guys have any questions on antelope, cooking it, hunting it, or otherwise, let me know. So let's get started. Uh, today we are going to cook antelope backstrap. It's going to be seasoned with some, uh, some Montana Mex seasoning salt, and we're going to also saute some onions and mushrooms with it. So let's, uh, let's go around here. We'll get the onions and mushrooms on. We're going to be using the, uh, the Montana Max avocado oil. It is a high temp oil, similar to like grapeseed, maybe a little lower temp. Uh, nonetheless, should work just great for what we're doing here. So I like to be liberal with that. Get that tossed on there. And uh, this is a really easy recipe. I am really quite a big fan of antelope because it's so easy to cook. Um, it does not take a lot of time on your grill. It does not take a lot of extra seasoning or preparation or otherwise. It really is quite a great dish. Um, one thing I get as a hunter a lot is people will ask uh, questions on you know, antelope like, oh, how does it taste? There's a lot of misconceptions about the flavor of antelope and whether it's good or not. And, and to be honest with you, of all the things that I've been able to eat, uh, I think antelope might be the best. I'd take it over venison about any day. All right. A little bit of ground pepper in there. Again, that avocado oil, we've got two cloves of garlic chopped. Okay, set that aside for now. So on to the antelope. This is a backstrap from an antelope. How long do you keep it for? Uh, a backstrap for the antelope that we've got uh, taken Wyoming this year. Uh, we're going to leave the onions and the mushrooms on there for probably about five to seven minutes, I guess, uh, just so they start to break down, caramelize a little bit. But anyway, back on the antelope. Um, I took this antelope in Wyoming this year. It was on the, uh, on the Oprah, actually, actually, for Unit 20, which is uh, kind of in the north central part of the state. Um, yeah, so let's get going on this. Pretty simple, again, don't need a lot of seasoning, don't need a lot of prep work. Uh, this morning I decided we were gonna put this Montana Max chili salt on there. It's kind of warm, it's not terrible, it's not too hot, but it really has a great flavor to it. I really like the stuff. So let's get a pinch of that on there. And again, if anybody has any questions on this, on antelope hunting, cooking, or otherwise, just let me know. Okay bit on there. And that, it's a good looking seasoning too. It makes it look uh, makes it look like I know what I'm doing. All right. Just a little pat on that, a little rub it in there. It'll be just fine. And we're just going to add a little bit of coarse ground pepper and this is something you can certainly do to taste too you don't have to go crazy or you can pile it on I like coarse ground pepper and just a little bit of coarse ground salt okay now before we throw it on we'll get to how you should cook your antelope should it be well done should it be medium rare Personally, I like it medium rare. I think going any more than medium rare, it's starting to get a little bit too done for my taste. So high heat is very important when you're on a grill with antelope. It's a very low fat meat. Um, it cooks very quickly, so you gotta kinda pay attention to it. Really, on a, on a cut about this size and thickness, we're really looking at only about three, maybe four minutes aside, depending on your grill. So be mindful when you are cooking it, it's not like a big thick porterhouse, you can't throw it on and walk away for a while and then come back and just flip it. So we gotta watch it a little bit. Before we throw that on, we're just gonna take a look at the onions and the mushrooms, which are starting to break down pretty nicely here. In that avocado oil. This is the first time I've, I've really cooked with this avocado oil, so this will be exciting. Um, I did taste it, it's pretty buttery, I like it. Right. Let that go for just a couple more minutes before we throw the goat on. A couple quick facts about antelope. Fastest land mammal in North America. 
Antelope can travel at speeds of over 60 miles an hour. I've heard they've been clocked as high as 67 uh, for short bursts. They have phenomenal eyesight, um, and they are the only hair horn mammal that sheds their horns. So every year, they'll drop these horns and grow new ones like a whitetail would its regular bone horn. But very cool critters. One of my favorite things to hunt. Um, yeah, let's throw that, let's throw that on there. All right, we'll get that cooking there. Make sure we're up at the top. Yeah, and you can hear it starting to sizzle now. That's good, and, and again, once it's on there, like I said, you really only have a few minutes that you'll need to worry about it because it does cook fast, maybe three to four minutes a side. On high temp, extremely high temp. Hotter the grill, the better. All right. Anybody got any questions? Feel free to throw them out our way. I'd love to answer anything I can. How did you get that antelope? Uh, question from online here, how did we get the antelope? I was out hunting, again, Unit 20 in Wyoming, uh, and uh, was on a rifle hunt. Um, I'll tell you, it was kind of a windy day. It was actually a really tough hunt. We had some of the worst weather that I've had out there. I've been hunting that area since about 2010. Um, really high winds. The buck came in. He was pushing two does. And I literally let him walk right up to me. I, I first saw him at around 550 yards, and he came up to about 133 when I made the shot. And uh, glad I had him. I'll tell you what, antelope, like I said, probably my favorite table fare of any big game or red meat anyway. They don't last long in the house. This is my last backstrap, so I'm glad I got to grill it with you guys today. That's for sure. Yep. Gotcha. Gil on Facebook, good questions. If you can't have onions and you, you want something to substitute, I mean, the onions and the mushrooms are just something that I like. Something I, I really like to do, though, and usually I'll cook this with pork, but I think it would work okay, is apples. Slice your apples up. You'll cook them a lot faster than you will your onions, but slice them up pretty thin, throw them on there, maybe pepper them if you like that kind of thing, and uh, go with that. A neat flavor signature that, that kind of, I think, would complement the antelope great. In fact, I'm going to try that later. I've got some venison backstrap I'm going to grill up, and that sounds really good. I'm check those onions and mushrooms again. They are breaking down really nicely in that avocado oil from Montana Mex. That garlic is cooking. That smells fantastic. I'm excited for that. Looks like we're getting a lot of new viewers. You want to just sum up what we're doing? Hey, guys, again, for you just tuning in, we are cooking antelope backstrap here on the Vortex Live event. Uh, Wyoming antelope from field to table in about a month. Shot them on October, I think, 16th, 17th, somewhere in there. And uh, we've got them cooking with some onions and mushrooms on the grill. Very exciting. Uh, I'm glad mushrooms. you could tune in. Yeah. Eric on Facebook, have I ever bacon wrapped antelope? I haven't. Um, I have cooked about every cut of antelope that you can as a steak, uh, and it works out really well that way. Undoubtedly, bacon makes everything better, uh, so you're going to take probably the best meat and make it even better yet. Um, a lot of times with this, I will cook them as a steak, or I'll cook them as fajitas. That's one I really like to do. There's, there's a couple of... Um, kind of skinny cuts on the antelope that don't have a lot of meat on them. Slice them up real thin, and then just a quick pan sear on there. They go great in fajitas. Uh, again, light seasoning. We don't need to go over the top. I wouldn't say they're a strong meat, uh, but they're, they're unlike a lot of other things. People ask me, hey, what does antelope taste like? Uh, it tastes a lot like antelope. So we're going to maybe check this piece here. It's starting to brown nicely along the edges here. You can see it crawling up. I'm going to say that's about ready for a flip here. So let's give that a whirl. We've got nice grill marks on there, good pack on there. That looks like it's going to be perfect. I'm looking at the clock. I'm going to give it three minutes, and we're going to pull it off. The onions and the mushrooms look like they're about perfect. I like my onions just a little crispy, but, again, personal preference, totally. Okay. Gil on Facebook asks... What scope do you use for your hunt? Gil on Facebook uh, wants to know what kind of scope we used on this one. I was using the new Razor LH3-15. to um, I can't think of a better scope in our line 
for the Western Hunter than that. I love the power range. Three is pretty good for that, you know, if you're working in close on stuff. 15 for those, those longer shots. I've shot that optic out to 540 yards in practice. Fantastic scope. I use the HSR4 reticle. Um, I think for uh, a hunter of the American West, uh, or, or for that matter, anywhere where you might have some expansive shots with the cartridge I was using, that reticle would have brought me out to 925 yards without worry at all. So great optic. Roger on Facebook says, how about slow cooking over a alder or applewood? Roger on Facebook, slow cooking over alder and applewood. I'll tell you, I think you could do it. I don't do a lot of stuff slow cooked on this because again, it's kind of, um, it's kind of temperamental. If you overcook it, I think it's done too much. So overall, I'd say give it a whirl. If you've got some antelope to try it, why not? If you want to do like a whole, you know, a whole leg or a, maybe a rack of ribs or even a large cut of the tenor or the, uh, the back strap, give it a whirl. Um, just be mindful. If we overcook it, it gets a little tough. I like it. Like I said, that rare, medium, rare consistency is about perfect. What caliber would you recommend for antelope? What caliber would I recommend for antelope? Great question. Um, I have taken antelope with everything from 243 Winchester up to 300 Weatherby. Um, a lot of times you'll have folks that will, uh, you know, encounter longer shots with antelope. And it's not necessarily the, uh, the go-to, but any good flat shooting centerfire cartridge um, would do. You know, 243 Winchester, 25 odd 6, 270 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, which is what I used to take my antelope this year. Um, and some of the new fast stepping magnums like the 270 short mag, 270 Weatherby, 300 short mag, any of that will work. Um, perfect options for them. Uh, and hey, anytime you guys think about this too, if you ever want us to cook something else live on Facebook, let us know. We've got a lot of meat to get through. We've had a great year at Vortex, so. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close here to about pulling this off. I might give it another minute. It's starting to feel great. All right, stir these up just a bit more. What's that touching test? You want to show us that? Sure, gotcha. So one thing you can do to kind of tell how your meat's done, and there's some debate about this. Uh, if you don't like, or if you don't mind your meat, medium rare or rare, it doesn't matter anyway. But if you make a light fist, not not a tight fist, but a light fist, and you push on that little web between your thumb and your index finger, that kind of, um, I guess that feel should match about what you're seeing with your cut of meat to be a rare, medium rare. That would be just perfect. So I'm gonna let that go for about another minute, minute and a half, and we're gonna pull it off and get it served up. We've got a lot of people here that are ready to try it, so should have brought more antelope. Anybody else got any questions? Like I said, throw them at me. I'm, I'm sitting here. What is the um, misconception about Oh, that's right. Misconceptions on antelope flavor. Again, I've heard a lot of people tell me they taste like some sort of smelly goat. Um, I cannot stress enough how good antelope really is. Um, I think the biggest thing comes from game prep. A lot of times when you hunt antelope, it's in arid conditions. It's very warm out. Um, folks will shoot them, drop them. They'll treat them like a deer. They'll gut them and they'll throw them in the back of the truck and drive around the rest of the day hunting antelope. And, and I think that's the biggest mistake, first and foremost. You, you have to get them scun out. You got to get the meat at least on quarters into coolers, if not off bone into coolers. Um, from the time that I get an antelope down to the time that I've got it on ice or at least cold, I like to keep it under an hour I'm completely. Um, you know, the, the hair on an antelope is rather oily too, so we've got to watch that. If, if, it's, if it gets in contact with your meat, I'm going to tell you, wash it off at, at the least. If not, cut that part out. We want to try to keep that meat as absolutely clean as possible. Game prep is very important. Um, you know, treat your meal like you would want to eat it, I guess, and uh, just get that, thing, uh, get that thing taken care of, cleaned up, and on ice as soon as possible, and you'll have the best, I think, like I said, the best table fare possible. So I'm going to pull this. I'm very excited. So we'll just take that off. Set that down. We're going to grab this. Just throw a little bit on top. And now I'll also let that sit for a while, let that meat kind of rest. If you cut open it or cut it open right away, I think a lot of the juices are going to run out and it, it might not be as good as if you just let it sit for a few minutes anyway. So when we are ready, though, we are going to take our Cold Steel Kitchen Classics out, and we're going to cut that up, because really, I am excited. We have a question from uh, Ben on Facebook. What beverage would you pair with an antelope steak? 
Ben on Facebook, what beverage would I pair with an antelope steak? Well, I'm non-alcoholic, so I'm gonna say probably a cherry Coke, a San Pellegrino, maybe a glass of chocolate milk. Uh, if you're a wine and beer connoisseur, it is a dark meat. Um, you know, I, I think something uh, like a dark wine or a dark beer would be great with it. Um, honestly, I don't know. I've never eaten antelope and had any alcohol to go with it. But uh, chocolate milk, like I said, always a winner. Always a winner. Yeah. What is the number one thing people do wrong with antelope that makes the meat taste bad? Good question. Again, what is the number one thing people do wrong with antelope to make it taste bad? Again, this is all game prep. When you get this animal down, immediately get it, if you can, scun out, quartered out, and into a cooler, at least into the shade. Um, the meat can spoil quickly in, in those warm environments that we often hunt antelope, um, and, and I think that we need to do everything we can possible to keep that flavor preserved. So get it cold, get it on ice, get it in the shade, you're good to go. Anybody else, like I said, cooking antelope here at Vortex Live, you got any questions, throw them at me. I'm ready for you. What part of Wyoming did I harvest the game from our friends on Facebook? KC, Wyoming is the nearest town. It's Unit 20, uh, up just at the foot of the Bighorns, uh, right off the interstate. Can't miss it. Stop at the KC General Store. Get you that chocolate milk to eat with your antelope. Wade, Wade on Facebook, what, what is a good side dish? Wade on Facebook, what is a good side dish? Good question. We deliberated over this today. I think garlic mashed potatoes are hard to beat. Again, chocolate milk addition itself. Uh, asparagus would be fantastic. Maybe a salad with some goat cheese and like a balsamic vinaigrette on there. That would be really good. I think that flavor would, would really pop. I would like that a lot. But anything, your favorite side dish, a sweet potato, whatever, anything. Anybody else got any questions for us? Let's cut open this thing, huh? Put it on there so I don't cut into this really nice countertop. <laughs> and that is exactly why I love antelope. Fast cooking, nice warm pink center, and the smell is just phenomenal. I'm so excited. It's only 10.45, but I'm going to eat lunch early today, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. That's exactly what we're looking for, that medium rare center. Perfect. All right. Again, we're going to try this, uh, this Montana Mex chili salt. This is great. This stuff, I am so excited. It smells so good cooking right now. I wish we had smell of vision so you guys could get a whiff of this too. It's just fantastic. Tell us how it tastes. Well, let me grab a fork here. All right. And everybody who's tuning in and heading out, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by uh, and hanging out with me while I grilled up my favorite wild game dish. And uh, like I said, stay tuned in the future. Let's give this a whirl. It tastes exactly like antelope. It's so good. Fantastic. I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon off and just think about this for a while. Thank you guys so much. Again, anytime you need anything, swing by vortexoptics.com and watch us on the next Vortex Live event.